You worked with him this offseason. What should Chargers fans expect from Justin Herbert moving forward? They can expect consistent growth. I was surprised. Uh, he's very, very intelligent. He's got a, he's got a grasp of the moment. Uh, nothing is ever too big or too small for him. He's willing to work. He's a hell of an athlete for 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, I know he's really tall. Uh, for most kids that size, it's a road trip between their big toe and the football when they're throwing it. He seems to have matched his nerves and his muscles up a little earlier than most for his physiognomy, the way he's put together. Uh, I think the fans of the Chargers are going to be thrilled for a long time. Were you surprised by how well he's played, especially being thrust into action the way he was in week two, getting a tap on his shoulder and saying, oh, Justin, by the way, you're going to start the first game at SoFi Stadium against the Super Bowl champions, and you got to go out there in two minutes. Well, the, the zone that this kid seems to be able to get into that we've, we've actually researched that the zone or the, the, the white moment that athletes get into is when thinking is inversely proportionate to the stimulus of the environment. And I think what you're going to see with Justin throughout his career, the bigger the moment, the actually the quieter his brain is. He's, he's able to get into that zone very efficiently, even as a youngster. Drew Brees and Tom Brady, you've been their throwing coach for, for quite some time. When you see both of them in the same division now at 41 years old and 43 years old, respectively, competing for Super Bowls, what goes through your mind, Tom? What we figured out in baseball with Nolan Ryan, we, fi- we, we know now that there's no reason you shouldn't be able to do it at 45, what you did at 25, if you're willing to pay the price. And both Drew and Tom are definitely paying the price for their ability to stay with longevity. So I'm not surprised um, that the superstars that I run across have one thing that they're consistent consistent with, and that's this overwhelming desire to get a little better every day at something. And these guys are fighting for 1%, why a young quarterback might be fighting for 10% getting better. These guys look to get 1% better every stinking day. 